Hi, welcome to Just for Math. So this this is a very interesting question that has been causing uh, some arguments. I would like to share my own thoughts about the question in this short video. So the question says, given that P is 25 meters on the bearing of 330 degrees from Q, how far south of P is Q? Okay, so I would like to begin by locating the points. So I'll first locate, say, point Q. So point Q will be located somewhere around uh, the bottom right of my screen. Now, since P is uh, on the bearing of 330 degrees from Q, it means, and it's 25 meters away. So uh, it means that P, is, P will be located at somewhere around this point, the top left corner of my screen. And of course, the distance between P and Q is 25 meters, such that the angle between the line connecting P and Q with the horizontal axis will be 60 degrees, okay? Because from the north pole of Q to the line joining P should be 330. And when you resolve that angle, the distance between this line connecting P, Q and the horizontal should be 60 degrees. Okay, now let's get back to the question. It says, how far south of P is Q? So I would start by locating south of P. So uh, south of P, in my own understanding, should be located somewhere here. So this is the south of P, right? And I've just chosen this point as south of P. I'll label it as south of P. So it says how far uh, south of P is Q, which means when you stand at south of p what's the distance or what distance will you move or will you cover to get to q when you're standing at south of p what distance will it will you cover rather to get to q okay so that is to my own understanding and i'll be covering a distance of 12.5 meters so this this was done by construction and I got exactly 12.5 meters. And when you apply trigonometric uh, ratios, you should also obtain 12.5 meters. So here is my understanding of the question. How far south of P from Q? So south of P from Q is 12.5. Now for those of you who got 21.7, I think what you're actually computing is the west of P. So the west of P will be this point. So a point which is towards the west of P, that is the right part of P, uh, I mean, east of P rather. So here is east of P, okay? So for 21.7, which I got here to be 21.65, is actually how far east of P is Q. This is to my own understanding. So this question is very, very tricky one. And a lot of people have gotten different answers. I mean, some people obtained 21.7, why some got 12.5, just as I did. So this is my own perspective and understanding of, my, of the question. I would like to hear your own thoughts. Please feel free to drop your comments, uh, drop your thoughts in the comment section. And let's have a healthy argument and not uh, an unhealthy one. All right, thank you guys uh, for watching. Uh, see you later.